It's uh, welcome to, to Illinois, man. Like, what went into the? Can you walk me through the process of, of making this decision and, and what went into it? Yeah, so there's a lot of factors that, that went along with it, um, but ultimately it's just Coach B and the and the coaching staff building a great program and culture here. It's just something I want to be a part of. So, Chief of baseball last year, what kind of made you want to step away from that and step back over to football? Um, there was never anything wrong with baseball. I mean, I love love my experience at Kaskaskia and it was awesome. Uh, but again, just an opportunity to represent this program was something I've wanted to do for a long time, and I got the opportunity to do it in football, and so that's kind of the route I went. How did it come about? Did you call them? Did they call you? Like, yeah, so we were it? just kind of exploring all options um, after Ju after my first year of JUCO. We didn't want to leave anything on the table, and um, we reached out to Illinois, and they got they did some like background research and got back with us, and then had me on for a visit. So, yeah, happened quick or. It did happen quick. Yeah, it happened really quick, and all of a span like a month or two. Oh, wow. So it, it, had, it escalated pretty quickly, but um, grateful to be here. When was the last time you competitively played football? Uh, high school, early, you know, I played high school early on in my football career, but obviously focused on baseball as of late. So it's been it's been a couple of years, but um, get back into it. So. Is it like it been like getting back into sport playing football for the first time in a couple of years? Um, you know, it's been, the, the, again, the coaches, coaching staff has been great in terms of the um, – Adjustment. They've been they've been awesome with helping with that. Um, teammates have been really good about you know taking me under their wing and, and allowing me to pick their brains a little bit. It's definitely been challenging a little bit, but you know nothing I, I can't I can't do on my own. So obviously your family, your, your parents both played here mm -hmm. athletically. Was that a factor in, in wanting to come and represent Illinois? I mean yeah, a little bit. I mean I've always grown up watching you know Illinois football and all of Illinois sports really. So it was definitely um, definitely cool to just represent the program because I've been growing up watching them. So. Um, ultimately, it wasn't parents weren't the, the full reason right. for that, yeah. um, but it definitely played a factor. So, so is Anna like the outcast now that she's like the one? Well, in State? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's hard to put on Ohio State gear. We went, we, we we go and support her all the time, but yeah, she's definitely the outcast. So, <laughs> yeah. So, is like your plan to go to Kaskaskia again this spring? When did that kind of? Um, so, so you, only have, you have one year there, right? Yeah. So yep. Was your plan to go back, or was you? Did you change your plan at some point? Like yeah, so sure. um, the plan was to go back for this next year, and then we again we reached out to um, Illinois, and then as soon as we kind of got all the information, um, we'd made the decision to step away from baseball and come here and come here in January. But yeah, I mean coming into the coming into the fall semester, the plan was to play the season out, but you know plans changed, so glad to be here. Was it one of those things like you were watching football, like, man, I miss it? Or was it like not even on your radar until it was? Um, a little bit of both, honestly. Um, I didn't really expect it all to um, escalate as quickly as it did. I'm super grateful it did and thankful to all the coaching staff. But I definitely did miss football. Um, so, you know, again, it's glad to be here. You know Kirkland played baseball? Yeah. Did you, have you taken batting practice against him? Does he, he still throw anything? Um... He played. He, Kirkland played junior college baseball too. Okay. Okay. And I think he was a pitcher. Got I'm guessing it. you guys. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I knew this guy played yeah, yeah. JUCO baseball. Yeah. I'm still. Yeah, I, yeah. So Kirkland, team, Michelle, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm still kind of getting familiar with all the faces yeah. and names, but yeah, he's. Yeah. What's been the biggest maybe, hurdle to clear getting back into football? Like, what's what's something that you like tried again? It's like, man, that's tougher than I remember. Yeah, I think probably just learning, you know, the ins and outs of football, the little thing, like the details, just after being away for so long. Um, like the, you know formations and stuff like that, but um, just the little things of football IQ and stuff like that's going to be has been a little challenging picking up. But so, what was the moment like that you realized like this was actually it? Like, where were you at when you decided like, yeah, I'm going to go play football at Illinois? Um, I was sitting in my apartment at Kaskaskia and I um, just got off the phone with Coach B and just gave him the news, and um, I think it was like mid October or something like that. So, oh wow, um, yeah. So it's been in the works for a little bit here. Yeah, yeah. So it, yeah, it kind of it kind of started in like late September, and then October was kind of when the decision was made. After it was a tough decision, um, but yeah. What's George like, Coach McDonald, to, as a teacher, kind of for you? Yeah, he's been great. I mean, he he reaches out all the time and just been you know making sure everything's going going smoothly, um, helping out any way he can. I think he's he's been out on the on the road recruiting a little bit, um, but he's been he's been awesome. I'm excited to continue to work with him. So like with their nerves, like you're in the car coming back home, which I'm sure hell. So like yeah. with their nerves, like this is a whole different life here. Honestly, yeah, I'd be lying if I said there wasn't a little nerves. But you know, again, it's been, it's been pretty easy in terms of like the coaches like making it as easy as they can. A lot of resources, 
um, has been helpful. So, yeah, there's a little nerves, but, you know, yeah, that's been good. What do you want to add, man? Like, what, what do you want to be on the field, off the field? Like, what, what do you want to add to this program when you're here? Um, yeah, I mean, I just want to be a guy who can come out here and, and leave it all on the field, you know, fight for every yard and um, do whatever I can to help the team win. I'm not sure exactly how, what that yeah. looks like, um, but wherever the coaching staff feels they need me, I'm, I'm ready to do my job. So. so you got a chance for me to get to know, you know, your wide receiver teammates, you know, fairly well. Yeah, it's about that couple weeks. Yeah, it's, it's been yeah only a couple weeks, but yeah, I've been meeting a lot of guys and, and trying to pick their brain again on just kind of how to, how, you know, how to go about things and how to best utilize my time, um, putting in extra work and stuff like that. So I've been definitely, a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, time off the jugs, machines, stuff like that. So, yeah. If I would have told you when you left Centennial that like, you'd ultimately circle back and play football, like, would you have believed it? Would you have not? Like, what no, I, I mean, I probably wouldn't, no, honestly. I mean, it's crazy kind of how God works. Um, you know, in, in the moments. Um, yeah, I didn't expect it. it kind of came out of the blue. We were reaching out, but, um, you know, it's just crazy how God works and was able to move the process along, and, and here I am, so, yeah. yeah. Were there other sports on the table, or was it, like, football or baseball? Like, were those the only two options you saw? Uh, football and baseball were the main two. We talked about track for a little bit, but um, that didn't really escalate into much, so just mainly football and, and, and baseball, so. Hi. With your family, kind of all history of Illinois. Was there any kind of moment watching Illinois that kind of stood out to you growing up? Any particular game or anything? Um, I remember the Illinois Indiana basketball game when Indiana was number one in the country, and I was at the game, and they upset them. That was a super cool experience to be a part of. Um, and then just yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of games. It's kind of hard to pinpoint. That's the mm -hmm. first one that popped out of my head. But um, yeah, I've been growing up watching Illinois sports forever, so it's, I'm excited to represent them. Did you watch this team much last year? Kind oh yeah, of breakthrough. Yeah, yeah. I mean. As soon as I, you know, stepped on uh, campus for my visit, I was like, you could just tell the culture they were building. Like, it's not, it's not a coincidence that we were super successful, super successful last year, and I'm excited to see what we got in store for this year. Is it weird saying we? Like, it's actually part of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe it's definitely still. I'm still kind of getting into a routine, getting adjusted. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe a tad, but it's been. Yeah.